Hello everyone, welcome to Homework Help. If you find the videos useful, please subscribe to the channel. So in this video, we'll solve this problem based on the concepts of area of 2D shapes. So as per the problem, if each of the three circles of radius A touch each other, what is the area between them? So we are given these three circles, each has a radius A, and we have to find the area between these circles, which is this shaded region. So for this problem, we have to analyze the shape made by these centers of these three circles. So we can connect the centers of these circles by straight lines. So these three centers together make an equilateral triangle because each side length is twice the radius. So the length of each side in this equilateral triangle is 2a. And in this equilateral triangle, there are the three sectors in each circle. So if we take away the area of these three sectors from the area of this equilateral triangle, we'll get the area of this shaded region. So this is our first step. So area of shaded region equals area of equilateral triangle minus area of three sectors. So let's start with the equilateral triangle. So I'll draw it separately here. So each side length is 2a units. So the first step is to calculate the area of this equilateral triangle and for that we need to write the formula. So the formula for this triangle is the base times height divided by 2. Now the base length of this triangle is 2a. Now the height of this triangle can be represented by this dash line. So this line is perpendicular to the opposite side. So this is the height of the triangle. So in order to find the height of this triangle, we have to analyze this right angle triangle. So in this right angle triangle, the two-way side represents the hypotenuse. And this side here is A units long. And we can use Pythagorean theorem to find the height of this triangle. So we can start by writing the Pythagorean theorem equation. So A square plus B square equals C square. So A here can be the, the horizontal side. So A square and B is the height. A square and C is the length of the hypotenuse, which is 2A square. Now we have to solve this equation to find the value of h. So a square plus h square equals 4a square. Now we can isolate h square. So this is equal to 4a square minus a square because we have to subtract a square from both sides to isolate h. So h square is equal to 3a square. And now we can isolate h by applying square root to both sides. So when we apply square root to both sides, so the square and the square root on the h cancel each other out. So we get h equals square root of 3a square. And the a square comes out as a single a. So we get the height is square root of 3a. So this is the height of the triangle and now we can use this height in the formula for area of the triangle. So the area of the triangle is 2a which is the base times square root of 3a over 2. And now we can simplify this expression. So we get 2 square root of 3 times a square over 2 and we can cancel out the 2's. So we are left with a equals square root of 3a square. So this is the 
area of the equilateral triangle. Now we can calculate the area of each sector. These three sectors will be the same because in an equilateral triangle all corner angles are equal to 60 degrees. So these three sectors will have the same area. So if we calculate the area of one sector we can multiply that by 3 to get the area of these three sectors. So the formula for area of the sector pi r square which is the area of the full circle times theta over 360 degrees. Theta is the central angle made by the sector. So in this case theta is equal to 60 degrees. So now we can sub in the values. So pi times a square is the radius times 60 degrees over 360 degrees. Now 60 over 360 can be reduced to just 1 over 6. So the area of one sector becomes pi a square over 6. So that's the area of one sector. Now to find the area of all three sectors, we multiply the area of this one sector by 3. So the area of the sectors will be so 3 pi a square over 6 which can be reduced to just pi a square over 2. So this is the final answer for the area of the three sectors and now for the area of the shaded region we'll subtract the area of the three sectors from the area of the equilateral triangle. So the final answer will be square root 3 a square minus pi a square over 2. Now we can simplify this expression by factoring out a square if you want to do that. So if we factor out a square we get square root of 3 minus pi over 2 which can also be written as so we can write the numerical term first square root of 3 minus pi over 2 times a square. So this will be the final answer for the area of the shaded region between these three circles. So I hope you'll find this video useful. Please share it, like it and subscribe to Homework Help. Thank you very much and have a nice day. Bye.